This video is on uh, scared and abused horses. This is part two. You see as I uh, start working with the horse, he tries to back away. He's scared. Tried pulling back there a little bit. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start petting him on the side here. And he's nervous. He's tensed up pretty good. So, and then I'm going to go ahead and here in a second work my way around to his other side. And there he's going to start pulling away from me. I try to hold on to them and get them turned back around, but um, when they're like this, you just got you got to go ahead and let go of the lead rope. So I'm in the round pin, the lead rope went around his neck, or it's just uh, laying around his neck, so I don't have to worry about that. So I'm gonna start doing round pinning. So I'm gonna have him go to the left, and I'm gonna start doing lots of inside turns with him. Now everybody does inside turns differently, but um, however you do your inside turns is how you want to do them. What the inside turns is going to do for the abused and scared horse is he's got to start coming towards me a little bit when he makes the inside turn. So control without pain, without fear, will bring the horse's trust. So we're going to sit here and work with this for a while, just doing the inside turns. Uh, round pinning and inside turns and uh, teaching your horses how to face you, all those videos are on or in my YouTube videos so you can refer back to those videos to learn how to round pin your horse do the inside turns outside turns that's necessary and teaching your horse how to face you but it's very important with the scared and abused horse to start doing only inside turns unless they're aggressive that you'd want to do outside turns so that was a pretty nice inside turn so once he understood the inside turns really well went into teaching him how to face me and there he comes, starts coming, walking around, facing me a little bit. And this way, I don't. Once I teach him how to face me, I don't have to worry about him taking off or ripping away from me again. So right now, it's just you know, he's trying to trust me now. He, he's you know, still scared, still nervous. There, he's going to take his head away from me. Um, so I'm just going to pet him a little bit. So when he starts, when the horses start trying to face you, especially when they've been scared and abused, like this guy has been. Um, he's trying really hard to trust me now and we got that through the round pinning going to the left going to the right and the inside turns then teaching him how to face me so at this point he's he's trying pretty hard and this horse came from a rescue foundation um, the rescue foundation took him away from other people that were uh, that badly beat on him and abused him and then a, a new owner came and got him and uh, called me up to uh, work with him to get him over this uh, fear that he has. So I'm just going to sit here, keep trying to work, keep working with him. I'm just petting him on. I'm only going to work on his left side to begin with. I'm going to pet, pet him on his shoulders. I'm going to go down his hind end, his rear end. I'm going to keep the whip as far away. From, I'm going to keep the whip in my hand, but I'm going to keep it far away from me. And a little bit later on, I'll go ahead and drop the whip. And the only reason I still have the whip in my hand is if he does run away from me, then I can go back to doing left or inside turns, outside turns, or inside turns left and right, and uh, get him facing me again. So then I'm just going to go ahead and really work on his uh, side, you know, being able to run my hands down his legs, his sides, his shoulders. I'm going to stay away from his head for the time being, and I'll get to his head here a little bit later. But mainly I want him to be able to come with me, follow me, face me wherever I go in the round pen. And there I'm going to go pet him again, and starts to take his head away a little bit. And, he, you know, again, he's, he's trying pretty hard. So I'm going to go over to the right-hand side now. And you can see he really took his head away from me there. He doesn't want to have anything, you know, me anywhere around his head. So I just picked up on the halter a little bit and brought his head back, and he takes his head away again. I'm not going to really worry about that right now as long as he's not trying to uh, run from me or drag me off. I don't have the lead rope on him anymore, but if I did, not to drag me off anymore. So now um, I'm going to go ahead and put my hand up by his pole and just put a little bit of pressure there and see if he will start lowering his head for me. When horses start lowering their heads, uh, they start relaxing and calming down a lot more. I'm going to come to the right-hand side again. He tried taking his head back, so I'm going to bring his head back, rub him on the head, and uh, really try to sit here and work with him. And he, so he's, he's doing pretty good now. Um, you know, he's, he's like I said, he's really trying hard, and the round pinning without pain or fear will bring his trust. So now I'm going to go ahead and start teaching him how to drop his head, put one hand on his nose, one hand on his pole. 
and every time the, 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 the tip of his ears just drop maybe even a quarter of an inch, I'm going to take my hands off. And I'm not pressing his head down or pushing his head down. I'm simply just resting my hands there. You, you, you don't want to sit there and push his head down. So then I'm going to go between his ears. Make sure he's okay with that. <coughs> so you, you don't want to try to shove their head down. You just want to rest your hands there. And as soon as the horse... Horse's ears drop just even a quarter of an inch. Uh, you'd want to take your hands off. And there he threw his head back up. There's a little head chai there. And there he wants to back up. So th this is all fear that he has in him. And it's fear from the years of abuse that he had. So again, the best way to get your horse's trust back is by um is by control without pain or fear so subscribe to my youtube page to see new videos as they come out and let your friends know about this video so they can watch it too thank you